Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this video is a special collaboration with Teresa B DIY. So when you're done watching this video, please head on over to her channel and watch her video. And so we went shopping and so here's a clip. Yeah, so we'll do that and people will probably look at us like we're crazy, but yeah. that's okay. It's okay. It's me, Teresa B DIY. And, and me, Jackie, and me, Dollar Tree Mimi's World. If you're coming over from her channel, welcome. And if you're coming from my channel, don't forget to go subscribe to her. I'll link her in the description box later on today. Okay, let's go inside. What in the world would I think to do this without a shopping cart? We'll have to share. Uh, Jackie Burns is here. Goodness, Jackie, you're early. <laughs> See what else we can find. Yeah, in my store, it's so funny. They have um, they had so many balloons yesterday morning that it, like blocked out all of the lights. You could barely see. You could barely see in the store. I felt like. Wow. Oh, and there's Annie. Is it with hey, us? Annie. You should have drove up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna flip you guys around. Oh yeah, it's 6:30 for Jackie. You're dedicated. Oh. You're dedicated. Oh wow. <laughs> She loves us. She does. Okay. I know. We need another curve. We should have gotten both gotten one. <laughs> I've been on for 34 minutes, so I think we are going to finish ourselves up Aww. here, and um, maybe we'll both post like a pictures or or post a haul videos or something later on on maybe Instagram or something. Yeah. So I think we're probably going to head out because I'm sure people have already looked at us weird <laughs> to begin with. But I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you guys again soon. Um, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to Jackie, to go over and do that. So we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Now it's time to craft with our recent finds. Okay, so we're going to begin with a very easy neutral Easter DIY. And this one is so easy and so delicious, but you can't eat it. We are going to make some chocolate Easter eggs and Easter bunny. And we are going to go in with some Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle, of course, because truffles are chocolate. Okay, so here they are all painted and I did two coats and now I'm taking one of these little buckets, these little galvanized buckets and some Spanish moss and I'm just going to first try to stage them to see how I want to have them in there. But then I had another idea. I decided to go in with some of this beautiful lace ribbon and just to pretty them up a little bit. So I'm going to wrap each egg with a little bit of this pretty lace ribbon and I'm going to give the rabbit the little bunny a little bow and that's it and now it's just a matter of arranging them all and getting them nice and pretty and voila we are done with this one Okay, on to DIY number two. For this one, I took one of these wooden trays from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to go in with some of this Waverly antiquing wax, 
And so I'm just going to paint this and then I'm going to rub off the excess. And so we'll just do this real quick. And now I'm going to take one of these new arch windows from the Dollar Tree and they're made out of plastic and the little cardboard piece I removed that as well but we will see that again later I'm gonna cut it down and with my brush that already has the antiquing wax on it I'm going to go ahead and go in with that and just give it a light brushing on it on the front and on the side and I'll remove any excess on that as well so now I'm going to set them aside to dry and I'm gonna begin with DIY number three and this is a frame from a canvas but it's got like these gaps on the corners so I'm going to go in with some of this wood filler to fill in those gaps and once all that dries I'm going to go in with some of this 100 grit sandpaper and lightly sand off any excess wood filler so I'm pretty happy with the neutral tone of this frame so all I'm going to do is take some of this white Waverly chalk paint and just dry brush some white on there just to give it a little bit of distressing and it's just going to be a little bit I'm not going to go overboard just a tiny little bit okay now back to my little tray and since I still have some white paint on my brush I'm going to lightly distress this with some of the white Waverly chalk paint as well and I'll do all the sides and I will do a little bit of the inside I don't do the underside the underside is painted but I didn't do the underside with the white just the top and a little bit of the inside because for the most part we're going to be covering up the inside and also I'm doing a little bit on the window as well just a tiny little bit and I kind of kind of had to get a little bit more paint because I didn't quite have enough but just a tiny little bit just to give it a little bit more distressing and so everything will kind of look cohesive so I'm loving the way this is looking it's almost looking like real wood even though this is plastic it's giving it that real wood look so I'm pretty happy with it okay so now I'm taking some of these Easter eggs and they are plastic and what's really cool about them is that they have a clear cover on the outside of these eggs so I'm going to take three of these eggs and I'm going to start cutting little peaks to simulate a cracked egg and it's a little difficult to tell but yes they are cut so now I'm taking my little tray and I'm going to go in with some of this moss sheets and I'm just going to cut just enough to line the bottom of this tray okay so now that my tray is ready and everything's dry I'm taking this arch window and I'm going to add some glue to the bottom and look how this fits perfectly in this tray oh my goodness are you serious I could not believe this when I saw this I thought no way <laughs> so now all I'm going to do is take my little cracked egg shells and put them and hot glue them inside the little tray and so now I'm going to go in with some of these white rocks and I'm just going to add a little bit to each one of these little eggshells and I'm going to do about halfway I don't need to do too much because it really doesn't need it I mean the whole reason why I wanted the eggshells to be translucent or clear is so it'll look super cute I could have done color but I really wanted to do the neutral look so now all I'm going to do now that I have my rocks in there is take some of these little um, succulents and I'm just going to add them in there and this one this first one was perfect size because it was kind of small but the other two were a little bit large so I had to kind of take off the bottom two layers and snip off some of the stem and then it worked perfectly and then they were all about the same size and they were looking so cute I love this look it's so cute and since I still had a package of these moss bunnies oh my goodness 
Had to add some of the moss bunnies, of course. So first I added the big one in the front and I was gonna add a small one in the other side and then one in the back, but then I switched them around and then I put the big one in the back and I put the two small ones in the front. And I didn't video this part, but I added some lilacs to this as well. Okay, speaking of lilacs, <laughs> so here we're going now to DIY three. And now that the paint's dry, I'm taking some of these lilacs and some of these wildflower greenery. I still had the greenery from a previous project. And I'm going to create a little wreath. So I'm gonna begin by hot gluing the greenery end to end on these greenery picks and to form a circle so I'm just going to add some glue add some greenery and then add some more glue to the end and add some more greenery until I make a full circle and I think I end up using four I think I had five but I didn't use the fifth one so just four to make a quick little circle a little, cute little wreath and so at first it's looking a little bit sad, <laughs> but once we add these lilacs and we're just gonna kind of uh, place them in, in a circular pattern, but as soon as we add the little lilacs, it'll look full and it'll look, it'll look much better. So just kind of take your time and add some more lilacs. And I think I had five of these and I used all five as well. So now I'm going to take some jute twine and I'm going to tie this wreath onto the frame. And I'm trying to figure out which direction I want to have it. But I ended up going with a vertical frame. So I'm taking the jute twine and first I'm going to tie a knot onto the, the wreath. And then I'm just going to simply tie it to the top of the frame. Now I'm loving the way this is looking, but I feel like the flowers are kind of like falling out of place. So I decided to go in with some hot glue to help put everything in more of a circular pattern. And so I just kind of hot glue the flowers onto each other very gently. And so now I decided to add this happy, this galvanized happy that I had left over from last year. I didn't see them this year, so I don't know if they brought them back. But I didn't see them this year. So I'm just going to add a couple dabs of glue and then put that on the top. And then of course I have to have the Easter one too. So I add the Easter one to the bottom underneath the wreath. A couple dabs of glue and I add that on there. And it's looking cute. So now I'm going to take three of these tumbling tower blocks. And I'm just going to hot glue them on the bottom of the frame to give the frame feet, so like a stand. So I'll do one on each side, and then the one in the center, I'll place it um, horizontal. So that way it won't interfere with the word Easter that's on there. And that's it. I'm done. I'm loving it. It's super cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and I invite you to subscribe if you haven't yet and please don't forget to hop on over to Teresa B DIY's channel and watch her video I'll link it in my description box below so you can see what she created with her recent finds from our shopping trip and until my next video stay healthy safe and strong and have a great great day bye bye